It is time for crab. And by crab I mean cane. And by cane I mean yeah no cane. That's that's what I meant. I I didn't I didn't stutter or anything. That's just how it <laughs> Why are we playing a bit of this guy? Because I love playing this guy. That's the only reason I Tell me you've heard this one before. I like Kane, okay? It's just a good character. Anyway, hope you're having a good day. All the usual stuff. It's Monday. Well, at least when I'm recording this. Obviously, it is not when you're watching this. Uh, I mean, I guess, no, there's a 1 in 7 chance it is if you're watching this at any point except for the day when it comes out. But it does not release on a Monday. That's all I can tell you. That's the, that's the only bit of trivia I have for that. Love me a counterfeit penny. I may actually utilize that for this floor. Hello there. Um, so I can get myself that school bag, for instance, and then I will pick up the paperclip again before leaving. Hopefully I'll remember to, but yeah. I know I can probably, definitely, probably definitely, that's a, <laughs> that's a great oxymoron, isn't it? Uh, probably get the money I need with, uh, that blood bank, but one thing at a time. Plum flute. Well, I guess I don't have to, uh, spare baby plum. I can just get it like that, okay. Right, I mean, let's blow up some, blow up some pots, why not? Let's, uh, okay, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> blow up this as well, I got bombs for days. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? That slot machine was loaded! Anyway, back to this we go, might as well open up this chest as well. If it's got some money in it, I'll pick up the penny again, but it doesn't. Okay, cool. Time to fight the boss and get stomped by baby plum or something. Come on, do your job, baby plum. Hit him. Mmm, juicy. Yeah, hit him again. All right. Well, the screensaver didn't quite work out, but she did. She did a lot of work, man. She was. She was very helpful here, and that's all that matters at the end of the day, is that she was very, very helpful. <laughs> hey, a little bit more money. Yes, I could go back. If I was gonna min max, I could go back, grab the counter for penny, pick up those coins, go back, grab the paper clip. Look, I'm. <sighs> I'm not that type of guy. Okay, I'm not your guy, pal. That's just not how I roll. What do we got in this? Kidney stone, huh? An annoying item for sure, but also very powerful. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said ow in, like, in anticipation as if I was gonna get hit. I was like ready to get hit. I was like, yeah, this guy's gonna hit me with this one for sure. Okay. Uh, I do have some money. Might as well check what's in here, right? King Baby's uh, neat, I guess. Too bad I don't have any other conjoined pieces so far. Because uh, if I did, <laughs> that would make him way better. I got so many damn bombs, man. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm happy for it, because it allows me to just blow shit up for free, right? Like, all the time, without having to fear. Interesting. Balls of Steel is amazing here. Speed up is great. Tears up times two, and a perks as well. Wow. Those good pills, man. I'm telling you, there's a lot of reasons why I like Kane. Those inherently good pills gotta be the main one. <laughs> gotta be one of the main reasons why I love this guy so much is I can just take pills without having, like, a panic attack. <laughs> and I don't worry about it too much. Let's see who we're fighting here. Clog, let's just stomp the shit out of you. Literally. Like, you, he is a pile of poop at the end of the day, so... I will skip my devil deal, because of course I will. You already know the vibe. And... I mean, do I buy... King Baby? For, like, the sake of the future? I don't know, maybe I wanna, actually. It almost seems like it's worthwhile doing, doesn't it? I'm likely to get more familiars going forward, and especially now with King Baby. Uh, even if I have rerolls available to me, I might just end up taking them regardless. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea. Okay, yeah, well, you know what? Sure, let's uh, let's send it a bit. Maybe pays out with an item right away. I can see forever is also lovely. Get Baby Plum to help out a little bit, even if it's just Wormwood. I'm sure she'll uh, she'll tear him a new one quite easily Bye, or whatever. She'll she'll be somewhat useful, I'm sure. Okay, that's a nice item. No deal is no surprise. To be fair, it was only like a 33% type of, type of chance, so whatever. Well, I did say I would take conjoined pieces, so there you go. Oh, a guppy piece. Well, 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 don't mind if I do. Oh, what the heck? Thank you, thank you. What the hell? Buttons are just paying out with good stuff? I thought they're supposed to like spawn enemies or troll bombs. That's all they do. How come these buttons are actually like spawning useful stuff? What are the odds of that? <laughs> they're supposed to troll you usually. As we go again, Wormwood. We meet again. And Baby Plum was gonna help out as well. And it would be lovely if she actually, like, hit him. Oh my god, like that! Yeah, thank you! <laughs> oh my god, she hurt me! She was like, alright, bud, let me help you out here. That's amazing! Come on. Let's go! It's actually a good item. <laughs> god, what I wouldn't give to have, like, uh, like a rock bottom <laughs> with this, uh, with this kidney stone. That would be 
amazing, dude. It would be absolutely wonderful. What about this item? Ooh, yeah, I'll gladly just take a halo. Don't mind me. What I should do is play the sack room. That seems like a great idea. Plus, I have the perks built. Playing the playing the sack room with the perks build is actually going to go crazy. I was already going to play it just because I have a ton of HP. But playing it with the perks build is going to go nuts, dude. Here's my shop. I got a bunch of cash with your name on it, shop. Please allow me to make purchases in here. Too bad this isn't the conjoined piece, but I'll gladly take it anyway. I love seeing my damage numbers pop up. More pills that are probably good. Yep, two more tears ups. Absolutely lovely. And an HP up. And another health up. And a range up. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll be very fine. Uh, in terms of HP for a while. I don't think I got much to worry about right now. Uh, tears up. Lovely. No deal, by the way. A darn shame, but... I have uh, approximately uh, infinite HP, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go play the sack room, teleport into the deal anyway, probably, or at the very least get myself some items, you know, the good stuff, the usual stuff. I should use the perk spell, forgot about that. Almost forgot about that completely. Yeah, increased angel room chance is not what I care about. Oh my god, really? No angel item either? Why are you doing me like this? I guess I'm gonna get myself both key pieces, why not? I think that's a, that's a good thing to do here. Apparently, angels can take damage from the spikes here, by the way. If I mention somehow make him go onto them. I guess he's, like, actively avoiding them, which is funny. But I think he can actually take damage from them, which is weird. But I guess they're, like, a special set of spikes, right? Normally, anything that's flying can't be hurt by spikes. But I guess these are special because they're the sack room spikes. So they're like, well, we can hurt the, the flying enemies a little bit. Just as a treat. Well, surely next floor is gonna be my first angel deal. Like, actually guaranteed, though. It has no choice but to give me one. Uh, unless I take copious amounts of damage, which I suppose is always possible. I'm just going to assume it won't happen, though. And there's another guppy item. You know what, baby plum? You've served me well, but it's time for guppy's head to take the, the reins here. What do we got in here? I will be honest. This is very tempting. <laughs> I've got a good run going right now. It's It's okay. But I am very tempted to send it with a full run reroll. Let's see what the deal has on the floor, right? Let's see all of that. Let's give, let's get like all the information that we have available and then make a decision. By the way, cracked key, kind of goaded. Nose goblin. That's a good trinket, man. Although I should probably keep this. Oh man, that's a tough choice. I love a gold pill right about now. That would go huge. Open up, open up, buddy. Open up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. My entire tier rate went away before that motherfucker. Okay, well, there's conjoined. Absolutely worth it. What do we have in the shop? Oh, wow. Some stuff. Mainly restock and the ability to spend a lot of money, considering I have a lot of money. Okay, well, these shop items have all just been utterly mid. Give me my damn deal, dude. I've been waiting for this for ages. Eden's soul, huh? Well. <laughs> well. Yeah, that, uh, that reroll is looking mighty fine, huh? It's looking mighty tasty. I want to fill up this Eden's soul ideally before I use it. Like before I use the, the reroll, the, the, the dice room. But if I can't get to, then so be it. It would have been very helpful if there was just a battery for sale in the <laughs> in the shop. That would have really sped that along, that whole ordeal. But I suppose it's not something that you get control over. Fuck it. Fuck it. Don't say I never do anything for you. We're, we're, we're sending it. Surely this reroll will go completely flawless without any problems whatsoever. I still have Eden's soul, by the way. I just lost Guppy's head, which is fine. Uh, I got Epiphora. Stats-wise, I, I think I'm still doing mighty fine. I, I, I got Stopwatch. Honestly, I think the run improved. I think the run improved quite a lot, actually. What if I just... Uh... <laughs> what if I just do that, right? Let's see what the rune is first. Okay, no, I'll just take Mega Mush. Thank you very much. Um, 45 cent steam sale. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, it's Guppy's head again. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what the hell? I'm like stuck in a damn time loop or some shit. What the, what the hell is that all about? You know what my biggest issue is now? I don't have any damn HP and I can't go to the old path anymore. Oh well, so be it. I would argue that was a decent reroll. I would argue RNG has served me okay this time around. I just gotta find myself a damn rock bottom now somehow. That would be ideal. A rock bottom would go a long way right now. <laughs> just saying. It would make me a very happy person. I can play this guy, I got a sun card. Unidentified pill. It's a speed up though, nice. I did gulp my trinket, when did that happen? I didn't even notice. When did I gulp my... 
paperclip. That's amazing. What the fuck? I had no idea I ended up gulping that at some point. Oh, because I have marbles! I just noticed I have marbles. That's how that happened. It happened when I used my, my sharp plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh... <laughs> never mind. N never mind. Don't care. Um, yeah. Please, I beg of you, don't be a greed shop. Let's go. That being said, it's not particularly uh, exciting either, is it? There's not much going on here, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's take check the curse room as well. Why wouldn't I? Kind of left it alone for now, just because I didn't have the HP to spare, but that's amazing. I'm guppy now. I like that the guppy progress stayed um, across re-rolling. That's pretty nice. Is that worth the three cents? Dealing with this room longer? Yes, it is. Because I'm gonna mega mush here in any way. And uh, hello, mom, you're dead. You're Omega dead. Where is my damn angel deals, brother? What the hell, dude? All right, I guess I'll leave. Guess I'm out of here. A few minutes later. Where are my deals at, man? Why are my deal chance is so shambolic right now? I'm supposed to be getting a ton of deals. Well, not really. I'm not supposed to be getting a ton of deals, but I'm supposed to be getting deals, and I'm not. Where the hell are they? You know what's fun about, like, Hanging out with your parents every once in a while. I, uh, not just because I don't have any friends, but, you know, like, I, I'm saying this because, uh, it was my mom's birthday somewhat recently, and this is just, like, an anecdote I, I came back to. Is, you know, you spend some time with your parents, you're just, like, chilling, getting drunk with your parents or whatever. That, in and of itself, is already a lot of fun, if you have a good relationship with your parents, which is not a gimme nowadays on the internet, man. I, I, you see a lot of creatures online that, uh, evidently have terrible relationships with their parents, which, uh, leads them down a path of darkness and despair. <laughs> to make it sound as mysterious and cool as possible. To all those people, it gets better, believe me. Uh, but like, you know, if you if you do happen to have a good relationship with your parents, you get to hang out with them and stuff, it's actually like so much fun. Because not only do you like get to hang out with like some of the coolest people you ever know, because like my, my parents are actually like the coolest people I know, mainly because of all the fucked up crazy stories they have about East Germany. Because like they, they were born and like grew up and stuff in East Germany before fleeing, like ironically, just a few weeks before the country was officially reunited and they could have just gone to the west regardless but that's beside the point uh but they have like all kinds of crazy stories from east germany they're always like funny as hell and i love when they talk about them because that shit is that shit is very enlightening it's like looking into a different world i mean obviously anything that happened before you were born is always going to be like looking into a different world right um like for me, literally anything that happened before I was born is in black and white. It, it's kind of like, like that's how I envision stuff that happened before I was born, right? Like if I ever see a photograph from like the 60s and it's in color, I'm like, that's, that shit is fake. That shit was like colorized in post. Like for me, color doesn't exist until like the 90s, which is crazy because I didn't even really get to experience them. Like I was born in 98, you know, that's like, I, I, technically like in the 90s, but not really, right? It's by definition in the 90s, but... In practice, it basically doesn't matter. Anyway, there's like a ton of crazy shit they would always... A ton of crazy stuff they, they, they get up to and stuff, you know, crazy hijinks. The stuff you do as like a teenager and you're... Like in your teens or early 20s when you're... Well, we don't really have a lot of options on what to do. And like all the dad lore, right? Like, it's, it's, it's like a common meme, but like the lore your dad has to say... Like, the, the stories he has to say or talk about before he met your mom or, like, you know, he, like, started a family and stuff is always the craziest shit. And it's inspired me to, like, you know, maybe I should actually start going out again more. Maybe I should actually, like, build some of the dad lore <laughs> so I can have a, a crazy story to tell my future children at some point. You gotta forward that, right? You gotta build your, you gotta build your back, background lore and stuff. Just imagine the stories you could tell. It's always the wildest shit. Like, it is it is fun to have, like, stories like that, right? I don't know if this is something exclusive to, you know, because my parents were East German, and East Germany is, like, such a radically different country, and it's so wild, like, the stuff that went on back, back then over there and stuff. Like, one story that I always find interesting is how my mom could probably be a doctor right now if she was actually allowed to study. Like, the only reason... Like, she's an extremely talented, like... Surgeon's assistant, right? Like everybody, every doctor, every surgeon who's ever worked with her was like, she's like the best in the world or whatever, right? And if she was actually allowed to study, I'm pretty sure she would have been just like a straight up doctor. It's, it's a very high likelihood that she would just be a doctor right now. The only reason she wasn't allowed- Oh, fuck! I wanted to go down the trapdoor. No, 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 wait. We can fix this, okay? I was stuck in the- I was stuck in the- in the banter. This doesn't matter. Nothing happened. You never saw it. <laughs> the only reason she wasn't allowed to study like, just let me continue my story here, okay? The gameplay is secondary. What's because her dad, my grandpa, 
whom I never got to meet, by the way, unfortunately, uh, was already a studied man. Like, he was, you know, he was, like, uh, in like I, I think he worked, like, in a nuclear power plant or something. And, like, I don't know what he actually did, like, whether he had a PhD or whatever, but he was, like, a studied man. He was, like, a, you know, a studied man. And there was, like, a, some sort of policy in East Germany where if your parents had university-level education, their children were not allowed to study. Um, like, for, or like, unless they fulfilled specific conditions as well. Because they wanted to, like, equalize opportunities or something. You know, like some commie shit, basically. It's very weird how that, how that works. But basically, she wasn't allowed to study at university. She wasn't allowed to study to become a doctor. So she settled for the next best thing, which was surgeon's assistant. But still, like, you know, she probably knows more about the human body and shit than most doctors do. Like, she probably does more work during the surgery than some of the surgeons. Like, the newer surgeons she's working with, which is crazy to me, man. Like, my dad is one of the most, in, like, talented handyman and mechanics I, I could possibly know. Broken, like, literally fix anything. And yet, you know, he was been underpaid and overworked his entire life. Because, like, you just don't get set up for any good opportunities in when you when you live and, like, grow up in East Germany. Like, he, he, he had no, like, formal education. His, his mom died when he was, like, 15 or some shit. Or 16. And he just had to, like, you know, work all day. It's a mess. There's, there's, like, a messed up shit going on, man, with my parents. It's not supposed to be a soft or whatever. It's just very fascinating and interesting, right? It's, it's always, like, fascinating stories. Like, how my dad never knew his dad. Like, his mom just got pregnant and had my dad as a kid. And, like, she never knew who the father was. And to this day, nobody knows. Which is crazy. There's, like, that's, like, a quarter of my DNA just completely unaccounted for. <laughs> like, nobody knows where that part of the gene pool comes from. It's completely... It could be anything, which is wild. I can imagine, like, people whose parents were, like, immigrants to whatever country you're living in now could have similar stories to share like that, right? I guess... Because that, but that's what technically what my parents are, right? I mean, it's just from one part of Germany to another, but they used to be separate countries. And they used to be run drastically different, and everything about them, like, the politics, the culture, everything was drastically different, right? They didn't have bananas over there. So, like... Maybe, maybe like, you know, if you, if your parents ever immigrated to wherever you live in now, they, they probably have similar stories like that. Or like, we're just like, maybe not even stories like that, but we're just like, it feels wild hearing about their youth in a different country, because you can't possibly imagine it, because it's like a completely different place. And like, a completely different time as well, to be fair. But, but yeah. Curse of the Lost, two floors in a row, by the way. Absolutely infuriating. I just kind of like the idea of using Mega Blast here to just clear some rooms. Please, you're making me waste all of it. By taking so long to die, Chubb. Oh my goodness. Okay, I want that though. Thank you for the cricket's body. Thank you for the poop. I don't care. <laughs> Give me my mega mush back. I'd rather have that. Let's just make sure I've mapped out the entire rest of this floor. Okay. I want to make sure that I do like this. Like when you don't have a when you don't have mapping, you got to do like a, an efficient search algorithm on the on the floor, right? You got to you do your depth search or something so you know exactly where you are at all times. I am not getting a lot of chests. Okay, I was about to say I'm not getting a lot of chests. Uh, here they are. <laughs> this is where they were hiding. And they were all pretty good items, too. I mean, quad shot is amazing. Uh, knockout drops is funky as hell. And uh, a bit of bookworm progress never hurt nobody. There's the lamb, whom I will fight, because I may as well. I do not want shard of glass at all. Although I don't have red HP, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, my damage output is uh, crazy, by the way. Uh, what the fuck? It's kind of nuts. Hey, now, daddy long legs, come on now. Ay, 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 what the fuck? He suddenly had three heads. You, you mean to tell me that this guy was actually, like, three, four separate separate people the entire time? He wasn't just one dude with a ton of legs? He was actually, like, four motherfuckers? Yeah, I think I'm done with the floor. Okay, well, I got a Mega Mush ready for Mega Satan. All the Mega Things are going to be coalescing together into a beautiful cacophony of death and destruction. That being said, I am saving it for the second phase, because why, why wouldn't I? Then again, yeah, no, because I don't have to move for the second phase. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have to move so much for the first phase because of all the ads he spawns and stuff, so I'd rather, you know, use it for the second phase when I don't have to worry about that anymore. I can just sit on top of him. By the way, the damage output is absurd. I, like, I, I should not be doing as much damage, but Guppy is kind of just, like, shredding him. And we send it with a Mega Mush. Hmm, look at that damage. Juicy, juicy stuff. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Okay, that's that. Unless you give me a Void, in which case, of course I shall take you up on the Opportunity game. I mean, <laughs> what a fool I would be to not. Oh, wow, you, you actually had the audacity to not give me a Curse of the Lost. I'm surprised. A restock machine is chill in this room. Okay, well, I mean, I know what I'm doing here. First of all, let's get this guy to pay out. Don't want Crooked Penny. Don't care for it. These are all sticky nickels. That's funny. I gotta. 
I have to. I, I was thinking, like, do I wanna? Yeah, I think this is a good idea. I think this is gonna go kind of nutty. Oh, God. There's a lot of tears going everywhere. I'm sure the bitrate is absolutely loving this right now. The amount of just shit getting spammed on my screen, it, it must be loving it. I'm sure it's the best experience the OBS encoder has ever had trying to encode a video. Hello, adversary, and uh, goodbye. Melted in seconds. This has to be the one. This has to be delirium, bro. It is. Let's go. Mega mush me. It's still 15 damage uh, with this fire rate as well, and uh, all the other zany shit going on. It's kind of crazy. And he's not, tra like, transforming at all. Okay, now he finally has, and, uh, well, uh, let's just say it's getting a bit chaotic. Yeah, okay, goodbye, Delirium. You really never stood a chance, to be fair. Mega Mush is like a press space bar and win item, right? But still, that's crazy. And a run has come to its logical conclusion. Would you look at that? What a beautiful one it was. I hope you enjoyed yourself just as much as I did, and I will catch you again tomorrow. Uh, be sure to subscribe and press the like button. Hey, guys. Yeah, t no, I'm not gonna do the tuber voice. Come on. <laughs> Have a good one.